Foster head coach Joe Mihalik, senior guard Justin Wright Foreman, and junior guard Eli Pemberton, and our star of our press conference, Robbie. Uh, coach, an opening statement about today's you game. You mind if I have a couple things to say, Robbie, then you can take over? <laughs> okay. Really proud of these guys for this win. I mean, that's, you know, for those of you that know basketball, that's a really good team. I mean, we made them look, uh, we did a great job defensively in that first half. Uh, made it look like an average team, but it's a good team. They're going to win a lot of games. They won their league last year. They could win it again. Those two kids are terrific, and I thought we did a we did a really good job. Second half, when it was loose and they had nothing to lose, uh, you know, zero, uh, got it going a little bit and ended up scoring a lot of points. But, uh, you know, I'm really proud of our guys, and I'm proud of Justin. I mean, let's face it, the elephant in the room was the fact that Justin and his former high school teammate were playing against each other. Now, we talk a lot about it this week, not not too much. But I'm proud of Justin's composure. He could have easily, you know, tightened up or tried too hard or taken it really personal between the two of them. You know, and he didn't. Uh, and as I said in the locker room there, Justin showed tonight that he cares more about letters than numbers, the letter W, because we got the W. And by the way, the numbers were better anyway. He, the other guy might have got one point more, but Justin had, I want to say, six rebounds, six assists, one turnover, and five rebounds. That's a pretty good night's work. And then Elijah stepped in whenever he had to and get the points. And, yeah, I'm really proud of our guys. Great win. Questions? Justin, um, as Coach mentioned, you care more about the win, but it did seem like you had a little bit more energy and fired up a little bit in that first set. Was it, was it coming to your mind to match up with, with, your, with Not really. Time? I would, it was more team oriented. I just wanted to win, like Coach said. Uh, we didn't really speak about it throughout the whole week. I mean, it, it wasn't really on the back of my mind. I just wanted to play. I just, just couldn't wait to play. You know, it was his first game coming home. So, I mean, what can you say? You, put on a show for the crowd, but we won and we got done. Justin, were you thinking uh, 40 at the end there? And Elijah, were you guys thinking 40 for him? Absolutely. <laughs> no one him to get it so bad. Now, as a coach, those video boards are... <laughs> There's a little too much information up there. Too much that these guys can see up there. But, uh, uh, yeah. well, not really. They, it's more... I'm not gonna lie, I'm pointing you out. <laughs> it was you. He came up to me, I was like, Elijah, not right now. I told him. But, uh, but like I said, I just wanted to win the game, most importantly, because we, we got another game coming up. So that win, uh, we could build on that and you know, grow from that. Um, Justin, you, you kind of um, you know, had to help, obviously, with Eli. Owen, kind of, for most of the game, was kind of doing it by himself. How much did that mean for you to kind of have that help from, from Eli? Uh, it was definitely big time. It's great to have somebody like Eli uh, kind of to take the pressure off me. But most most importantly, I can take the pressure off him as well. Uh, when I get into the lane or he gets into the lane, penetrating, kicking <coughs> each other for open shot. You know, we have other teammates around us that can help as well. So we're just a dangerous team, and people still need to find that out. Speaking on building off this win, you guys only had six turnovers tonight. You're traveling to Richmond, Virginia. VCU likes to press a lot. Uh, what do you think you can take away from this game and bring it into Saturday's game? Uh, we're definitely going to probably watch, well, not probably, we're going to watch in this film. Uh, today was a great game. We took control of the ball. We were very ball strong, like coaching, like the coach staff always talk about. So we just got to carry that over now. So we always use the expression of value the ball, you know, take care of the basketball. So, you know, it's certainly going to be a number one key down there in Virginia. But we're going to enjoy this one and enjoy Thanksgiving, too. Joe, I'm sure you saw the VCU game already. What's your thoughts going into that? Uh, Honestly, same. you're gonna think I'm lying. I, I just okay. can't do it. Maybe it's a little bit of superstition, but I just I'll just never do it. You know, we, we got we had to win this game okay. today. If I'm thinking at all about VCU, we, we're not gonna get this job. I'm not gonna do as good a job as I could could do tonight. So uh, I haven't. But uh, Speedy has. Speedy's <laughs> got the scout, so he's he's got him. He's got he's got to figure it out. What's I, your thought? I know you haven't seen it. What's your thoughts based on the uh, elite A10 team? Uh, like that down well, there. Okay, yeah, maybe I'm sorry, I don't understand. Correctly. No, I did. I did. Great see opportunity. It. Yeah. I mean, this is a great opportunity. You know, it's a, it's a, you know, our schedule. I, I think our schedule is really good. Now, it's a self-serving comment, but I think our schedule is really good. This team we played tonight's a tournament team. They're they're going to win a lot of games. They might win their league again and go to the tournament. Uh, Marshall's terrific. They're a top 25 team. Maryland's a Big Ten team. VCU's got a great tradition. They're a very very good team. So, I think our schedule is really good and. You know, it's what you try to do to help yourself, ready, help yourself get ready for conference play. Coach, with all the, all the attention paid to all on their side, um, uh, Mod came in as the leading scorer, but what, what were you able to do to, to kind of slow him down, not let him do so much damage? You know, we, we did the same thing to both of those guys. We just tried to, like, really shave <coughs> them and uh, adjust our defense to, 
really just know where they were at all times and make it as tough as we could for them to score. Now, I, I think the difference, in my opinion, was uh, Zero kept making some tough, tough shots, and 14 wasn't making the tough ones tonight. He can do it, but tonight he wasn't. You know, I don't know that Zero had too many easy ones. I mean, he made some tough ones. He made some tough ones. So, you know, give him credit. Got to give him credit. Joe, what's the save for Justin? Kind of alluded to this earlier, but what's the save for him when he's so willing to pass the ball? You know, he's got a chance to get forward. He's got a chance to match his buddy. And he's throwing alley oops on the middle left and throwing great passes down the ball. What's the save for him? He's willing to set the other guys up when it be pretty easy to one on one. -on -one. It just says that Justin wants to win more than more than score. And, and we've all seen those great scores. And you, when the game's over, you, you can tell are they making their team win or not making their team win. And, you know, Justin scores a lot, shoots a lot, but he's doing whatever every time he does. He's trying to help the team win. And he did it tonight. Uh, you know, our team needs Justin to score to win, and, and, he, and he did it, and a lot of need Elijah to score to win, he did it too. So uh, it just shows he cares about winning more than anything else. Thank you, guys. Thank you.